uh, you know, the bird's getting a bit more comfortable with the combat, so head's gonna be rolling here. No mercy. Oh my goodness, God, I just tore that woman to pieces. How does that even happen to one hammer hit? The legs just discombobulated from the body. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Swords and Sandals 5. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. Not only just the Birdman Otis Falcon, I'm also arena champion known as Falcon. I was able to persevere last episode and beat that ginormous, well-suited armor piece of a gladiator champion. It was an amazing comeback. If you haven't watched that video just yet, go back and watch the last one. It is an amazing, amazing fight. That being said, on today we gotta keep going forward. I'm at level 8. But you are still alive, so either you were victorious against the arena champion, or you haven't fought yet. Oh, that was a mighty battle due to not beat him. Yeah, so now, yeah, I haven't done it just yet. So I received the cut per sandals, which is kind of like below me at this point. The militia helm, I'm not sure about that one. A thousand gold and 300 experience. Excellent. So what's up now? To celebrate your first arena championship, the Lotus has organized a great feast. All gladiators are chipping in to buy beer and delicious fried scorpion pincers. So let me guess, you want me to go out there and look for scorpion pincers now? This is outrageous, I'm the guest of honor, why should I provide food exactly? I knew you'd be thrilled. There's a small levy being raised to pay for the party. A mere 500 gold should cover it. Remember to bring your share of the food and drink and we'll have a grand evening. So I gotta pay 500 gold and apparently bring items to the party too. Doesn't sound like it's much of a party for me, dog. Uh, this is really off-putting. Still, a sober night would lead me to... To lead to some anger. Gladiators. Fine. A great feast is being held in honor of your first arena championship. But somehow you're being forced to chip in with gold and supplies for the party. First visit the tavern and pick up a six-pack of Gunturian beer. Then head deeper into the Hypogeum to get the pincers you need. Rumor has it, huge scorpions dwell deep in the cells of the condemned. Now before we go downwards, how about can I go to the arena and just do a couple of fights? I want to get my, my fighting IQ up a little bit here. You guys have left me some pretty good tips, so I want to see if I could hopefully do better now. Hail Knight, there are four more gladiators waiting to fight against you. Defeat them all for a chance to take on, I guess, another arena champion. So I feel like I'm good for a fight now, so let's go for it. Cemetery. This guy has a bow. We haven't fought anybody with ranges yet, so this might be pretty intriguing. Um, alrighty. Oh yeah, and when the screen goes yellow, it's not... Well, I mean, I figured it out last video, but um, a lot of you guys also pointed out Falcon, it's not Charisma, it's um, Rage. So, yeah. But I have, I did figure it out towards the end of my Arena Championship fight. So that's my dude over here. Let's go ahead and give this a try again, some Bishop Noans. Okay, so... First and foremost, let's go ahead over here and just jump at him. Why not? He blocked. And apparently hit me with his bow. He didn't even shoot an arrow. Yeah, he was aiming at the knee, but there was no arrow to the knee. That was just apparently hit me with the bow on the knee, which is kind of really weird. Uh, let's go with a regular attack. He blocked that one too. He's jumping away. Do you want to go long range? Let's go for it. Oh, you resisted the fire? You scum. I don't think that'll reach. Let's continue moving forward for now. I should have bought some essence potions. I think I have some healing potions. Oh, I do have potions. Yeah, I bought them last time. Cool. So at least like if I need like a small boost, we have potions ready to go. Let's do an attack here. Oh, that armor's gone now thanks to my hammer, bro. Very good. So now let's go with that over here. Continue the attack. I'd like to build my rage up, but it's not really, it doesn't seem to be going up too much at the moment. Um, his essence is almost gone, so we might have to get some rest pretty soon. Just blocking at this point. Get those sandals off too, dog. And let's go for another one down here. Armor's almost gone. You ain't much, dude. You ain't much. Um, he's gonna continue to jump away, though. Oh, now you're coming at me. How about that? Let's see if we could do... I don't want to use a potion just yet. Let's see if we can handle ourselves. I have the, the melee, the double melee strike, and we have the mighty smash. Oh, of course he would block it. Yeah, let's just rest it up for now. That doesn't bother me too much. Blocked. That bothers me. There we go. Out of um, shields now. And now he's jumping far, far away. Let's see if we can lure him back to us. Oh, rah, rah, rah. Come over here, my friend, and fight it out with me. Let's see. 
<laughs> Don't just jump in place. I said come at me. Freaking arrow user. Look at this guy. What a coward. This is not how we settle stuff in the arena, dog. Got him. Blocked. Let's see if we can do the double attack now. Oh! Scum. Go for the knees. Go for it again. Oh, stop blocking. Let me get some of this essence back up here. So, you guys told me as well, if I attack with no essence, I still attack, but he'll go into like instant sleep right afterwards. But I do like to keep it up, just so that if I have to like run away, <laughs> I like to keep it up, he says. Yeah, I do. But I like to, you know, keep my essence above a good percentile. So I've got to run away or something, I have backup movements for it. My rage is going up, which is fine. Every time he blocks, though, it does go down, it seems, huh? Oh, you scum. Gotta get my attack to get even better at these hits. Oh, he's resting now. Here we go, boys. Rage is up. Strike him. Oh, baby. All right, I'm so glad I know how the rage thing works now. Um, no mercy. I'm a scumbag. Apparently, I killed this man by taking his leg off. That's one way to die. All righty. So, we got 572 gold, 380 rolling experience, and 50% to next level. I want to get that next level so we can buy that new weapon, too. Night has fallen. Let's go over here and sleep it off in the tavern. You dream of bubbles. I'm always dreaming of weird things. Last time I think I dreamt of like priest or something. So we could do one more fight, which I might level me up. I want to get that weapon before we go fight that monster in the pit. So let's do one more metal pit. Oh yeah, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Um, Are my stats good? Defense, yeah, everything's good. All right, let's go to the battle pits and let's do the second fight for now. Who do we got this time? This guy is, um, f or it's not a guy, it's a girl, but her, her name's Father Brucetus. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly confused. Maybe it doesn't have a gender, Falcon. Maybe you should stop assuming it's gender. Okay, maybe you're right. Um, a lot of strength on this one. This is going to be a fairly difficult fight. Um, more defense than I do. Less HP, but, um, this c could prove to be a pretty difficult fight. All right, let's go and enter the arena. And let's see here. So... Let's just start off with some attacks if we can. Good. 23 to 23. See, we're on even playing field, are we? Never mind. Never mind at all. 23 more. Alright, we blocked that one, which is good. Let's bring that rage on her down, or him, whatever. Because otherwise, we'll start getting wrecked here pretty badly. Let's do another one down here. Excellent. Oh my god, my armor's completely gone already. Well, that's fine. Her armor's almost gone too, roughly. Roughly. Block that. Get my rage up. Yeah, there we go, there we go. I'll take these small hits, I don't mind. Look at this right here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh mama. We got this already. This is in the bag. Uh, you know, the bird's getting a bit more comfortable with the combat, so... Head's gonna be rolling here. No mercy. Oh my goodness, God, I just tore that woman to pieces. How does that even happen to one hammer hit? The legs just discombobulated from the body. Oh, that wasn't enough for the level though, was it? Oh, I'm so close to a level. The thing is that the monsters in the Hypogeum don't give me experience anymore. So let's do one more fight. Level myself up, buy the thing and go down and fight that beast that I told you guys about. So let's do one more fight over here. Right now things are going really good. And since I'm kind of getting more comfortable with the fighting, these aren't taking too long now. And you seem to be a bit more weak than the last one too. So let's see if that's really the case. Enter the arena. And let's start off by just getting in here. Good. You're going away for some reason, huh? Let's just walk over there. Attack. Good. So as long as this rage goes up as soon as possible, we could do our dirty work. No, don't block me though. If you block me, the rage doesn't go up. Now, don't poke at me with that Gladius either. Okay. This might be a problem. I mean, your defense is almost gone, luckily, but... Okay, we blocked that one. Good, 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 good. Once your defense is gone, your HP isn't really too much to scoff at. So... Let's get in here. Armor's gone. We blocked that. Very good. Hoo-hoo, my god, my combat ability's going so oh, a critical baby and the rage. There it is, game over for you. Ha ha ha! Hoo-hoo! 
And we got our level, so now we can get that weapon and go fight that beast that I told you guys about. Dude, I'm getting the hang of this so well now. Alright, so we got that level. Um, I think a chance to attack or get my hits in to get that rage up is so good, so yeah, I think we might even go twice on this one. Because if they don't block it, we get a rage up and then we are good to go. Now in terms of my skills here, Barbarian Storm, every time I've used it thus far, I've missed. But maybe once we rage up completely, then it's the best time to use Barbarian Storm. So, assign that skill. Okay, let's go buy that. I think I'm gonna buy. I'm not sure if I should go with the axe now. I'm, I'm really liking the hammer because it destroys armors really well. Uh, let's go to the shops here. Weapons. You probably have new weapons too, don't you? No, you don't. So, I have the small hammer. I could go up to this mallet, which is really good against armor, as we mentioned. Now, the dude I'm gonna fight right now, he looks like. The Grim Reaper, so I'm not sure what would be very good against him. Maybe just a critical hit chance. This is going to be 4,000. We have 9,000. 39 base, 37 base, and that's going to be for crits too. As much as I've been enjoying the hammer, I'm going to switch over back to the hatchet for now. And hopefully that does well for us, so let's buy that. That should automatically be equipped. And let's get it um, enchanted as well. Exit shop. Go to the Alchemist, I'm thinking. Yes, maybe. 1,500 gold for 12 more. Do it. We're back to 4,000, which is fine. I should have heal potions. I should probably buy a couple more because that is a tough fight coming up. Let me buy 900 gold. Oh. All right, I'll just do one and a small one too. Okay. This should be enough, I, I hope. Let me buy one more for this Grim Reaper. Let's go to the dungeons, and I think we're good to go. Armor's fixed, HP's up. Yep. Hypogeum. Now, with any luck, maybe we could just jump right into... Yeah, no, level 5. And then we'll have the boss fight instantly. We're not, not sure if it's a boss fight. He's really strong, I guess we just call him a boss fight. There it is. Yeah, I've been here before, and then he wrecked me, and I... I exited out before he killed me. <laughs> so, I'm still not sure if I die, if it's game over or not. I hope not. Okay, so I wish this was like an arena fight so I could use like rage to my advantage. This is probably a good place to have some range on me too, huh? Can I toss anything at you? <laughs> toss that bomb at him? Can I toss a bomb at him? You don't want to waste a bomb outside of combat. Oh, I gotta be in combat for it. Okay. Well, let's go for it. Oh boy. Should I wait until like morning? Should I camp here? <laughs> Not with the dungeon guardian around, I'd be a fool. Well, I'm a fool to fight this guy right now, to be honest with you, but okay. Maybe I'll ambush him. Shh, be very quiet. Okay. Didn't really work as I thought it would. So he's got a ton of armor, as you can see, 271 and HP as well. Technically speaking, he should be stronger than the arena champion, I think. Especially if he's got, like, you know, spells for all I know. But, um... Let's go. This is the, the Hypogeum Sentinel with Mighty Smash, but I was luck I was able to defend it, apparently. Let's start off by doing a quick attack first. 31, that's not too bad. Good. Just slowly bring that armor down, and then we could probably do some work here. My quick attacks don't normally miss either, too, so they're fairly decent. Oh, and that's my rage up here, too. So there's rage in these fights, too. I hadn't paid attention to that. Oh, he blocked. That's no good. His essence is out of the way now, so should I power attack him? He's still blocked, even with no essence. So I guess that only probably applies for the warrior fights. Okay. He's almost out of armor, but so am I. I'm almost out of essence, too. Um, okay. Okay. Keep going. Out of essence. Okay, um, rest or use a potion. Well, I guess we have to use a we have to have essence to use a potion. He's almost out of armor at least. Um So we'll rest here. Ow. Use item. Let's just use this now. Good. I'm out of armor now too. We have potions though, we have potions. So now let's go. Armor's gone on him too. Time for one of my skills, I'm going to say. Barbarian Storm? Oh, why don't I always... I, I never hit these skills. It's so annoying. Oh, we got that one. 98. Good. Almost out of stamina yet to get our essence again. Let's rest here momentarily. Ow. 
Normal. Blocked it. Quick. That one. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We, we, got, a, we got a thing happening. I'm almost got that rage meter filled up, too. Rest. No, no special attacks running, you scumbag. Guys? Yes! <laughs> yes! That was a level 10 monster, too. Like a boss, defeat a dungeon sentinel. Woohoo! Alright, what did he leave over for me? Yo, I want what's in there. You see a pile of loot, it's empty. Oh, it's empty? Oh, come on. You don't beat a dude like that and get no, lo no loot. What's my reward? What's my goods? Well, either way, we got this guy done now, which is great. So now we should be able to jump over to Pincer World. So let's go down below. You can see no way up. Strange magic to seal the staircase, trapping you here. You must push on. What do you mean trapping me here? And I'm trapped. Oh, the lever. I got you. Okay. So now we should be able to proceed downwards. Now, before we get too crazy down here... Oh, good. Cells of the Condemned. So this is where we're going to find the pincers. Now we have, like, Grim Reaper enemies about, too. The souls buried here were criminals, murderers, and worse. Would-be Tomb Raiders will surely join them here in the deep. Okay, so it's going to be a bit more tougher now going forward. There's apparently a rat gladiator there or something. Let's relight this torch. But we're looking for pincers. Um... I'll be honest with you, since we're, we're down here now, let's go back to town. And get myself healed up, get my armor strained up, and then we could come back down there and be fine. Tavern, go away. Do your thing. Get your rest in. Town it up, and let's go and get my armor fixed up at the shop. So armory, you should take care of it, right? Yes, fix. I'm down to under 2,000 gold, which is fairly low. Is there anything I could sell at the moment? No, I got nothing. I mean, I could sell off my old hammer, too, for some money, maybe? Somebody told me in the comments that apparently the armor stacks, too. Like, if I have, like... If I go up, at like, a level of armor, and I keep the one in 30 had, it stacks armor? Which, that doesn't sound right to me. Like, it shouldn't work that way. I mean, if it's, like, a bug, <laughs> that's fine. I mean, I don't want to take advantage of the game, but apparently somebody told me that the armor stacks, so I shouldn't sell it. Can anybody confirm that for me? I guess I could look at it myself, but I'm... Too lazy to do so. But if you guys know for a fact that armor stacks, I should just hold on to it. Let me know, because somebody said that, and I found that really hard to believe. So I'm healed up. I got my armor back. We're almost out of time with the video. But before we wrap up, let's go back to the Hypogeum and see about getting a look at these new monsters here. And I should be able to jump down for 294 gold. Eh, go for it. I don't want to walk all the way down six levels. Okay, so we have a bad. Let me relight this torch as well. This will be a level 10 bad. Luckily now, since they're level 10 animals or monsters, we'll get some experience again from fighting these guys. In the upper five levels before, I wasn't getting any experience anymore because um, they were too low leveled for me, apparently. This guy's got 74 armor and 105 HP. But you know, I ain't even worried because um, I think we're doing all right. You dead. Got experience from that too, good. Now, who's going to drop the pincers? I mean, I am... Would it be a spider? That type of pincers? For some, for some reason, I was thinking... No, he said scorpion something, right? Like scorpion pincer meal or something? Oh, I don't like spiders at all. It's a giant huntsman? Like a huntsman spider, maybe? Okay, well, whatever. Um, we 313 defense? Oh, my God. That's a lot. These these monsters are dwarfing my defenses now, too. Well, as long as you don't do too much damage to me, I think I'll be fine, but we'll see. 60. It took my armor off completely now, too. I need to find, like, a, an anvil so I can repair my armor. I got a couple of hammers on me. He's resting. Of course, I power attack and he somehow still misses, even though the yeah, monster's resting over here. Got him this time. Okay, apparently I'm raged up now, so we could power attack away. There we go. Oh, oh, good, of course, now I'm tired. Rest up, get the kill. That was a pretty difficult fight. Pretty good experience for it, but yeah, these fights are... Woo -hoo. 
A lot more, especially if they take your armor out from like one fight, like you gotta do a lot of traveling back here. So those blue things only teleport you around, they don't um, do anything bad to you, I found out. Now... Let me see if I could just skip around you guys. Oh, where, where the heck is the exit here? I guess it's probably near where we started from. Well, there's no pins for monsters up down here, so I guess we'll just go down another level. Relay torch. Oh, no! Oh, dude, I'm on fire. I'm gonna die. Yeah, whenever you light the torch up, sometimes it can backfire and actually catch you on fire. Oh, I'm losing 46 every time I move. Uh oh. I'm gonna die. Um, we have to use one of these. Stop burning me. Please, please remove the fire off the body. Okay, I'm no longer burning. Oh boy, that was terrifying. Okay. <laughs> Gotta be really careful. I got no armor. My HP's very low. Uh, let's have a red mushroom, meanwhile. And let's go down another level. Oh my god, it's a lot more difficult down here, too. And a huntsman right in my way. Yeah, I don't think we should be fighting this guy right now in my current condition with no armor and low HP. I mean, if it goes bad, I guess I could always flee from the combat. He's just riding. Can I, like, go back up and come back down and reset that guy? I just want to see if I can find a freaking scorpion, if there really are scorpions. They should be. That's what the meal said it would have to be. Okay, he's gone now. All right. You down through here. And that's next floor down. Oh, there's a, there's a scorpion. Okay. This over here, by the way, says I'm an evil dude. I could, I could pray here and get like a buff sometimes. And sometimes there's no effect. And I think sometimes it could also even screw you over. But this time there was no effect, unfortunately. Um, I'm not sure how strong you might be, my friend. So before we combat shield, let me have a small healing potion. Because I'm going with no armor, which is a bad idea. But I'm curious. Let me also do that. Oh, I got a chest back there, too. Poison? Okay, so you're going to be dropping poison on me, which could kill me, especially with no armor. 121, so you're not too bad. Compared to that spider that we fought, you're actually not too terrible. So let's try this out here. Quick attack. Ow. Block that one. Armor's almost gone. Don't poison. Armor's gone now. We should technically have this. Nice. It's ours. No, oh, you blocked. Hey, you scumbag. Pincers. I got a Venom Stinger and one Pincer, so we need two more Pincers now. So these aren't too bad. Compared to the spider that we fought, this is not too bad whatsoever. Now, I don't think we should fight anymore. I think I'm going to go back to town and get myself fixed up again. But before... Oh, a Topaz. That should sell for some pretty decent money. Probably not diamond money, but still pretty good. I'll take that. And we're out of time with this video anyway. So I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. I'm going to go back to town and get myself fixed up. I might do a little bit of farming off camera to kind of get us prepared for this next um, few levels here. But I won't proceed the story. So I just got a couple of levels so that we're not struggling with these fights. Because, oh man, these are pretty terrifying. I hope you enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.